Hey guys, Elfed here. I'm back with another short tutorial video. This one's to show you how I put in the eyes on the mask and that's gonna help you out if you ever pick up expressions. If you already have a mask and you end up picking up expressions uh, later on in time or if you maybe have to do some repairs, you lose a magnet or something and you need to pop the eyepiece back on there, uh, this is gonna show you how, okay? So this is uh, the way that I do it and I find it to be, sorry for the angle here, I find it to be uh, kinda like uh, the simplest way to do it, um, especially when you have to watch out for polarity. Like you can't just like glue on uh, the magnets on here without uh, checking your polarity on the magnets already on the shell, okay? So let's get to it. What you're gonna need is uh, some crazy glue, okay? This stuff is really good. Um, it, you can call it a, it's an accelerator, but some people call it a kicker. You can get these at uh, hobby stores. See, this one's from uh, Burbank. A hobby store you can pick it up online like uh, on Amazon or eBay like it's insta set uh, but basically what this is for is so that uh, you, you know you, your crazy glue is gonna be really liquid and it's gonna take a little while to set uh, with this type of thing you want to have your placement correct and then just use the kicker so that it sets instantly um, and of course your uh, earth magnets like these are the ones that we use and they're pretty strong. So you'll see um, the size and everything when you get your mask. Or if you buy the eyepieces, you're, it's already gonna come with some magnets. So you don't need to worry about that. You only need to worry about it if you end up losing a magnet or something. Um, okay, so let's do this real quick. Um, and I'm also doing this, uh, by the way, because I posted a picture on Instagram last night and a lot of people were hitting me up so I figured this would be a good time to do this because a lot of people were hitting me up because basically it was uh, the the last uh, shell, the back form shell. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit different in size from the newer uh, like rotocasted shell. So it's a little smaller. I don't know if you guys can tell like right here side by side. You see? So it's a little bit smaller, and the eyepieces are totally uh, a different size. So, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but um, you would notice because uh, you can't really use the the older uh, eyepieces on the newer. I guess they kind of fit, but they're not like as flush as they could be. Um, but then you can really um, take advantage of the fact that they're a little bigger to put them on the newer, um, the newer shell. See, they they can with just a little bit of tweaking, you can get kind of that look, that new look on your on your uh, older shell. So I already did it on the one that I that I posted last night. So this is kind of what that looks like. Or not kind of this is exactly what this looks like okay so the these both of these are vacuum formed and they're same generation but this one has the newer eyepieces installed Let's see so this is how you can do it if you end up buying uh, if you like this look uh, and you have the older shell uh, you can still get this look uh, by installing the newer eyepieces on your older shell uh, it can be like the full or half shell. So this is how you do it. Let's get back to, uh, and see, you can see them all together here. Let me just show you side by side, the vacuum form and the newer one. Can't really tell the difference too much, huh? Mostly the size. All right, so we're gonna put pop in some ice on this full shell. This is one of the newer uh, rotocasset shells. Uh, by the way, we might uh, get, uh, actually go back to, to vacuum forming these. So um, if you order uh, 
the newer mold mask and you end up getting not a rotocasted resin piece but a vacuum form it's going to look exactly the same uh, but the reason why we're going back to roto uh, to vacuum forming is that it makes the shell a little lighter and also more resilient to like if you drop it accidentally or something um, you might get a crack on the onyx shell um, even though onyx is like pretty strong still you might end up with a crack or something and then reason number two is that uh, due to the high demand for for these especially like with the half shell it's just taking forever to rotocast manually each of these and uh, um, with Halloween coming up like there were a lot of people interested in the half shell and we only have the one mold uh, we're making more molds now but it was just taking too long and then if you rush things uh, you're gonna get you know like with slush casting you're gonna get like thicker parts and thinner parts and it just takes a lot of time to do it that way um, so yeah so just a quick note there you might be getting you know a vacuum form shell instead of resin it's not really gonna make a lot of a difference um, um, look wise so just wanted to put that out there uh, okay so this one already has the magnets uh, installed on the shell and I have a couple magnets here on top but see these are already glued on there but if they weren't glued the first step would be gluing in putting in some glue and popping in the magnet onto the cavity that that is there and uh, and then you put in your magnet use your kicker and then do that for all four of these right simple enough so step number two you're gonna get uh, your magnets and just put them right on top of the other magnets so now you have eight magnets right the original four on the shell and then four on top so what you do is you take your glue and you just put in a small drop on top of the magnet that's lying at the very top okay so what that drop of glue will do is that it'll tell me it'll kind of register on the eyepiece and let me know uh, basically which side I have to glue onto my piece that you know in turn uh, attracts to the side that's on the shell okay so I, you put that gl that uh, glue uh, on top there uh, just a drop and then you grab your your eyepiece here and you just kind of like push it gently against the against the magnet so what that'll do is that it'll show you on the eyepiece the positioning kind of like where in the eyepiece you're gonna be gluing in that magnet and also the side that it has to go in right so once you have that I use a box cutter you can use a, a razor blade uh, but I find box cutters are really good for this uh, you're just gonna lift separate and lift that magnet okay and you see how the the glue is on there so now you have kind of like a map right so that's where it's gonna go uh, basically liquid to liquid and then you're just gonna kind of drop it there on top hold it in place add a little more glue okay just add glue all the way around so that it actually uh, creates a good little uh, support like because this will all harden so it'll kind of like just hug that magnet uh, and then you use your kicker just a few sprays and then it's good to have like a rag or a paper towel or something just to kind of like just clean real quick because it hardens immediately so you just kind of like clean the area there and uh, so voila so there's one side then 
while you let that set, these are both the same. I'm just trying to finish up this bottle. Um, do the same on the other side real quick. So that's what I do. Like I do top, top, and then bottom, bottom, because uh, that way it kind of gives it a little time to set, even though the kicker does it immediately. It just gives it a little more time to, to harden and set. And that way the magnets, since they're very, very strong, they're not gonna pull uh, your magnet from the eyepiece and then you have to do it all over again. Okay. So you just apply a little bit of pressure. Add a little more glue. So then I get my little drop transfer there. Same thing. Lift. Separate. And then the box cutter is nice because you can just kind of like help yourself with this tool. Like the blade will retract and then it will just be like nice and positioned right there for you because the magnet obviously will stick to the blade too. So that one already had a good amount of glue there. Just put a little bit more. All around there. One more kicker. Just clean it up. There it is, so now the first eye that we did, see now it's gonna go right in that cavity, right? The magnet will attract because it's in the correct position, right? So then you do the same thing for the one underneath, okay? So the one at the bottom. So I'm probably gonna just do a quick little, uh, um, simple enough so now we just we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom and do, let's do a time-lapse for this all right so that's it then you're done really nothing to it it's just a matter of like kind of knowing um, how to best do the job at hand, which is figuring out the polarity of the magnets, getting the positioning correct, uh, positioning the magnet, and then just uh, what adhesive to use and the kicker is really helpful as well. You don't need to absolutely have a kicker, but then you're gonna end up like holding, like putting a pressure on the eyepiece or the magnet and you're gonna I mean I still end up with like a bunch of glue on my fingertips I guess you could use like some gloves uh, but yeah nothing to it so so here's the full shell half shell and uh, any questions feel free to shoot me an email lfatprojects at gmail.com again this is the older uh, shell that uh, some of you already have uh, with the newer eye pieces so you can do this yourself if you want to hit me up and like get yourself a pair of the newer eyes just to kind of change up the look a little bit uh, have more uh, eye pieces at your uh, in your collection uh, this is how you can uh, install the eye pieces yourself you don't need to like send me the mask to do it for you because now you know how to do it yourself cool um, all right. See you on the next one, guys. Bye.